Welcome to Caustic Studio, everybody. This painting I'm working on Leeds and Liverpool Canal Lock, and this currently drawing the construction lines in pencil, roughly measuring the dimensions of the picture. The common method to use is normally to look at a screen, hold the pencil in front of your eyes and use your pencil as the marker. But I've always found that hard so I go from judgement with a ruler. Almost as if I've got a grid system on in play but I don't use a grid system. The grid system is where you draw X amount of boxes going along the length and the width of the canvas and on the image itself transferring each square grid onto the canvas giving you roughly the same proportions Okay, now I've finished all the construction lines for the painting. I've started to paint the sky using a mixture of Cal Cabalot Blue and Titanium White. I may have pronounced the word wrong for the blue, but I've created a pale blue sky. Okay, I finished painting the blue well. sky, Actually, now I'm starting kids. to the add the clouds in the sky. I've chosen just to use white clouds rather than grey clouds, can giving the impression of the whole rainy day.
Okay, I finished painting the sky. Now I'm working on the first layer of the canal water. I'm painting this in brown. Okay, I've finished the first layer of painting for the canal water. I'm now working on the flagstones using the black and white to create grey. Okay, I've finished painting the first layer of the flagstones and now I'm working on the first background colour for the trees in the distance and mid-range. I finished the background painting for the trees. I am now starting to paint the timber locks themselves. The first layer in light brown again.
Okay, I'm now starting to work on the first layer of stonework pattern for the building. This is in a orc yellow slash brown. Okay, I've finished the first layer for the stonework of the building. I am now going to be moving on to the slate tile roof, which is a greyish brown tone. Okay, I'm working on my second coat of the canal water. I'm using a dark green colour. I made a mistake by using brown as a background paint colour. Hence the reason why I'm changing it to a dark green tone. Okay, I finished all the first layer of painting. Now I'm going to be working on the background ground trees. I'll be starting off with dark brown and gradually going to lighter browns.
Okay, I'm still working on the trees in the background. The method I've used is the dot method. And this is where you put dots onto the canvas in small sizes and gradually overlayer them to create more density of trees. You wouldn't be able to see the trunks, but you'd be able to see the greenery on the trees but this specific piece was done in autumn so in the distance the trees are just brown Okay, I've started to do the highlights in the distance and these are urban brown mixed with titanium white to create a pale brown appearance. I'm dabbing this over the dark brown and a back backing paint to try and create more density in the distance and make it more well visually pleasing I am still currently working on the density of the trees in the background. There are some browns closer up and some trees closer up that you'll see later on. But when I look at the finished project, I do question on the background that's visualed when the trees are put there.
Okay, now I'm working on the mid-ground trees. I'm painting them in black using a size zero round headed brush. Okay, now I've finished painting the autumn trees, I am now working on the canal water. Rather than making it realistic, I've chosen to use a wavy lines painting it on, changing from different varieties of blues. Okay, I'm still painting on the canal, but I'm just showing you what it looks like right now because you don't really see the process of painting it if I keep cutting it out of the videos. So I decided to have a section just for you to observe how the painting's working. And like I said, I use wavy lines for it. And I've already mixed the colours. I think it's Calvert Blue with Titanium White and a darker version of blue that were pre-bought from a American art company at Etsa.
Right now I'm currently about to paint the locks using umber brown with titanium white to create a pale brown and I've created a variety of different browns for the locks. Okay, I put the locks to the side for the time being while I work on the grass in the distance that curves as the canal curves round. In the distance there's a building which is quite small so there isn't detail there. <coughs> Okay, now I've sorted the grass in the mid to far background and the stones that mark out, I think, every mile? No, they don't mark out every mile. There are some that do, but not all of them. But I'm also working on the building's roof. Okay, right now I'm working on the stoneworks to the building. 
I am using, I believe it's called Arc Yellow, Titanium White, and Urban Brown. Okay, now I'll be working on the flagstones in the distance. On the actual painting itself, I've done them too big. I should have worked with a detail brush, starting off small, and as I get closer, enlarging the flagstones. I don't know if you'll be able to notice that in the video. Okay, now I'm working on the windows to the building. I'm wi using white paint for the framework and I use black for the glazing. If I were to redo it, I would try and paint furniture within the windows, but for that, I would need a magnifying glass, of which I don't have.
Okay, now I've done the windows and the doors, I'm moving back onto the roof to paint more details for the slates, which sit in quite a distance away, you can tell. Now I'm going back and adding more detail to the canal in the distance and the small building. I can't put much detail in the building because of how far away it is on the side of magnifying glass than I would do. Okay everyone, I have finished painting the Leeds and Liverpool canal lock and the next painting I'll be doing that's been recorded is the Fisherman's Baston in Hungary. This painting took around about um, 30 hours to complete that's a lot of video editing to work on but let's see how long the video will last once it's all edited from 30 hours down to how many hours that's the interesting part 